Have you ever felt like your healing process is being hindered by someone? Let's dive into the first way a narcissist may try to sabotage your healing process. The master of manipulation. They can cunningly use your vulnerabilities against you. As you open up, they exploit this trust, manipulating you back into their sphere of influence. This disrupts your emotional healing, causing you to relive past hurts. Remember, your vulnerabilities are not weapons for others to exploit, but stepping stones on your path to recovery. Ever felt like your past is being rewritten? This is the tactic of the memory assassin, a narcissist who twists the narrative of past events. They downplay their harmful actions or bend the truth, causing you to question your own perceptions and experiences. It's a crafty way to hinder your journey to closure and self-validation. But remember, your memories and experiences are yours alone, and no one has the right to distort them. Ever felt like your happiness is being sabotaged? It's a perplexing experience, especially when it's triggered by your own progress. This is the handiwork of the jealous gatekeeper, a narcissist who reacts negatively to your newfound joy. They might subtly sabotage or radiate negativity towards your fresh sources of happiness and support. It's a stark exhibition of their envy, a reaction to you moving on and flourishing without them. But remember, your happiness is yours to enjoy, and no one should be permitted to tarnish it. Ever felt like you're being pulled back into chaos? This is the drama dynamo in action. Narcissists have a knack for creating unnecessary drama, crafting conflicts and crises that suck you back into emotional turmoil. It's like a whirlpool, pulling you away from the tranquility you were just starting to find. They instigate, they provoke, they stir the pot. Their goal? To disrupt your peace. Remember, your peace is valuable, and you deserve a life free from unnecessary drama. Ever felt drained of your emotional energy? Narcissists often act as attention vacuums, consuming your focus and validation, leaving you depleted. Just when you're starting to heal, they swoop in, demanding your attention. They might share dramatic tales, play the victim, or create crises to divert your energy from your self-care and recovery. This can be incredibly exhausting, especially when you're trying to rebuild your emotional reserves. But remember, your emotional energy is precious and you have every right to use it for your own healing. Ever felt obligated to sacrifice your well-being for someone else? Narcissists are masters at guilt tripping, especially when they see you healing. They play on your empathy, using your shared history to make you feel responsible for their needs. They skillfully spin webs of guilt and obligation, making it seem like you owe them your well-being, your peace. But here's a truth bomb. You don't. Your healing, your happiness, your life, they're yours. Your well-being is important and you should never feel obligated to sacrifice it for someone else. Ever felt like your personal boundaries are being disrespected? Imagine your healing, reclaiming your space, when suddenly a narcissist blurs those lines. They intrude, disregarding your need for privacy, control, and safety. This intrusion can disrupt your healing journey, making you feel vulnerable all over again. They may disguise it as concern, but remember, it's a violation of your boundaries. It's crucial to uphold these boundaries fiercely, reminding them and yourself that they're non-negotiable. Your boundaries are sacred and anyone who respects you will respect them. Ever felt like you're being made to doubt your own progress? This is the signature move of the gaslighting ghost. This narcissist subtly undermines your confidence in your healing process. They might question your memories, perceptions, and the progress you've made, causing you to second-guess yourself. This gaslighting tactic can be insidiously destructive, sowing seeds of doubt where confidence should be growing. Remember, your progress is real, and no one has the right to make you doubt it. Ever felt like you're being compared to others or your past self? Narcissists can use comparison as a tool to undermine your self-esteem. They might highlight your perceived flaws or setbacks, comparing you unfavorably to others or even to a past version of yourself. This can trigger self-doubt and negativity, especially when you're building self-compassion and acceptance. Remember, it's your journey, not a competition. You are unique, and no one should make you feel less than for being yourself. Ever felt like you're being pulled back into past hurts? That's the work of the relapse architect, a narcissist who knows your vulnerabilities all too well. They craft situations or utter words that trigger emotional reactions or flashbacks. It's like a time machine, 
dragging you back to past sorrows, hindering your emotional healing. It's a cruel game, one that disrupts your progress. But remember, your past does not define you, and no one should be allowed to pull you back into it. So how can you continue your healing process amidst such hindrances? The key is to take control, set firm boundaries, restrict contact if necessary, and don't be afraid to assert your needs. Surround yourself with those who support and respect your journey. Prioritize self-care and remember that it's okay to take time for yourself. If you find it overwhelming, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Remember, you are strong, and true happiness is always within your reach.